everyone, I of course am Papa Grimgrin, and welcome back to Subnautica. The good news is, in the ten minute break I took between episodes, Jerry hasn't moved, so I don't think he's haunted. So, let's go ahead and drop this blue tablet in, and go and meet the lady. In your own time. Oh boy, more robots. Don't attack me and I won't kill you. Don't. Translating local alien broadcast. Warning, vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg catching project terminated. Live specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. So, lots of bad. Like, everything bad happened. Well, let's, uh, let's start scanning stuff. We have an ancient sword. Oh, it's from Earth. It's from Earth? Huh, cool. Uh, strange carving looks a lot like a yin-yang. Uh, a thousand years old, a natural fiber, striking resemblance to old earth yin-yang. So, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking, considering I keep finding humanist, human-like things, that we can just assume that the aliens have been to Earth. And does everybody else feel like that's a safe bet? Artifact is unpowered, suggesting it served a ceremonial rather than practical use. Pyramid resembles vines spiraling upward toward the warm blue stone mounted above it. It may represent a plant found on the alien's homeworld, a building of religious import, or even the gravitational pull of their home solar system. I don't... I don't necessarily know how it would represent gravity, considering it's floating. But, uh, you know, you do you. Looks like a shield to me. Oh, it's a holographic projector. The device contains network apparatus and a holographic projection unit. It's likely used as a communications relay, capturing and projecting the image to, of the user to a remote location. I can read, I promise. There do not appear to be any other devices in range. Well, oh, that's a pity. It would be nice to be able to talk to someone. Other than computer lady. Rudimentary tablet. The device shares many similarities with the tablets used to access the alien facilities. Although its structure is rather less complex, it may have served a similar purpose, granting security access and storing relevant data, and was thus kept here as a form of legacy support. Yeah, because you know what? I keep uh, three and a... Is it three and a quarter? Three and a half? I keep floppy disks on hand just to, just to remind myself of... Are you supposed to rise? Do I do anything with you? There was a scan. I saw it. Oh, it's an iron cube fabricator. That's cool. Can I get up there? No? Alright, fine. The device appears to be the origin of the raw mineral that forms the base of the ion cubes which power smaller alien systems, likely drawing power itself from the main thermal plant. We were just there. This device may represent an almost limitless source of energy. Sweet. How do I harvest it and put it in my base? I wish to have an ion cube generator. I'm going to run out of water. Stabilizing. Alien building block. A rock-like object features organic as well as mechanical parts. And there is some genetic and technological crossover with the design of the self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. It appears to serve no purpose in its current state, as and is awaiting some kind of activation sequence. Materials such as this may have been a fundamental building block of the aliens' technology, or even of the aliens themselves. <sighs> Fascinating. Okay, um... I don't think I'm gonna read all of these. Tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna scan it. It's a translation device. Ta-da! You can pause the video if you want to read it. If you don't want to read it, just uh, keep on living. This is an empty case. I'm not even going to pull up the thing for that. It's just a... Huh. Nanobots. In the empty case. 
Is this another doomsday device? Or is this some Easter egg? Organic matter particulator. I think this is actually an Easter egg from uh, the earlier builds of the game. Tracking implant. Okay. This is probably the thing that's in the warpers. Alrighty, so that's all of that. And let's see, we got a doohickey up here that we can look at. Download you. Insane 42. New PDA data. Once again, not going to read it. You guys can take a look at it real quick if you'd like. And is this what leads to the next... Oh no, this doesn't lead there. Preserved fetus. Oh, yeah. This is when you first find out about the sea emperors by examining the fetus. Then we come over here, and I believe this is an egg. Yeah. Preserved egg casing. There you go for anybody that would like to read that. Just give the video a quick pause and take a look. If not, then moving on. Uh, I think that's all there is in here. I don't see anything anywhere else, at least. So, alright, done here. Let's go down and check something else out. There are just rooms. Like, so many rooms. Just kind of leading out from this place. This place is huge. Oh boy, another teleporter! I don't have any ion cubes that I'm aware of. Yep, nada. I don't remember seeing any on the way in. This place is just like a... Ow. This place is just like a teleporter hub. Is it like any one of these could teleport me to a place that I've previously been? Whoa. Maybe not. This is kind of neat. Oh, this is the vent Integrate controls. And open that up for anybody that wants to check it out. Lots of coolness. I gotta say, the developers really... Like, they really flesh out the world for these games. Um, both this one and Below Zero. Which, uh, Below Zero, I've never played. You know, I I picked it up when it first came out because I wanted to support the developers. And I knew that I would eventually get to play it. But my first experience with it will be when I play it here for the channel. Huh? Check out the inflow pipe. With its many peepers. It's kind of funny, because if you watch the... Uh, if you just hang out around the, the vents that you find, and just kind of watch. They suck in fish all the time. It, it's actually kind of funny and a little bit interesting. I didn't bring any food with me either. Alright, we're going to have to speed this up. Or I am going to die. Probably doesn't help that I'm sprinting everywhere, but hey. This place is huge, and walking everywhere would just be terrible. Don't you think? Where does this one go? Oh, this one goes upstairs. We had a downstairs, now we have an upstairs. To another teleporter room! Lovely, wonderful, good to know. Logging that away in the old memory banks. Alright, to the other side of the hall! Are you a purple cube, or a purple tablet, or are you an orange tablet? Because I... Oh, you're the blue tablet. Wait. I used the blue tablet. Oh. I gotta build another blue tablet, guys. Guess I should have read a little bit further ahead in that, uh... That walkthrough that told me about the lava castle. Oh, reminded me about the lava castle, I should say. It's what I get for uh, starting a game 
years after this I had initially played appears it. appears to be a biological archive storing more than 40 indigenous egg specimens in different states of development. I wonder what comes out of this egg. Got all kinds of stuff in here. Cool. Sea Emperor Leviathan Research. Feeding and digestion. Species feed entirely on microorganisms. It filters through the water. Cool. Uh, big ovaries. It produces enzyme 42. And health. Good on it. Wonderful. So proud. Happy for it, even. That looks like a dragon egg. Yet I'm sure that they make a Reaper Leviathan egg. I don't know if you can ever get one in game. Like, because I, I absolutely can go around and collect eggs and build a uh, habitat thing in one of my bases and use it to birth creatures. And you can find eggs for most every creature. I just don't think you can find leviathan eggs. Um, other than the ones that you just kind of ambiently find in-game. And that needs ion cubes. i got a bunch of ion cubes in Jerry. I wonder if I shouldn't just power up all these portals and figure out where they go. But we got to head back out of here anyways, because i got to figure out how to make a purple tablet. I fell! Does it have to do that every time? Can it just stay on? I mean, it's a little upsetting. Enter prawn. I don't want to enter prawn. I want to enter storage. One, two, three, four. Thank you, Jer Bear. Yeah, I guess that's just going to do it every time. Cool. Wonderful. That's what we all want, right? Loud noises and sudden flashes of light whenever we walk down a hallway. That's what drives the people crazy. That's what makes them so happy to see you. Get in there, Ion Cube. Ah, where do you go? Don't be somewhere dangerous. Be somewhere cool. Be somewhere where I'm going to pop out and be like, Hey, I'm glad I'm here. In your own time. Yeah. No worries, not like I'm trying to do an internet show or something here. Okay, where am I? Undersea cave of some sort, possibly. Could be on an island. Let's, uh, let's take a little gander around, see what we see, see what we find. Okay, no, underwater cave and probably the Grand Reef, if I had to guess. Cool. All right, so bottom left, Grand Reef. Duly noted. I scan you, you weird alien thingy. Let's get a self-scan real quick. Infected. I knew it. All right. I gotta say, I'm uh, kind of glad that I ended up doing things this way, because if I'd have looked for all those alien gates on the outside and then discovered that I couldn't even access them until I had been here, I would have been very frustrated. Like, incredibly frustrated. Like, the more I think about it, I actually get a little frustrated. I can't believe how much of this game I actually just kind of spaced on. Almost close enough. Back into the... Abyss! I don't, I don't know. Teleporter goo? I wonder what it feels like going through one of them things. Okay. This place is a little... A little different looking. It leads outside to... What area is this, I wonder? 
this be the mountains? The mountainous caves? I don't want to wander... Oh no, this is mushroom forest. Okay. This is around the mushroom forest. What are you doing here? I don't believe this is anywhere close to where the... Uh, where the Lost River and your regular habitat is. So how did you get up here, buddy? It's kind of weird. Kind of cool, huh? Kind of weird. I see one of those ghost rays just chilling out this close to the surface. Because we were less than 300 meters down. Usually you don't encounter ghost rays until you're, like, closer to a thousand. Huh? Or no, I... I guess it's between, like, uh, 700 and 1,000. Because we see them when we're cruising around in Lucy, and she can't go below 900. I should probably stop and consider before I just begin uh, blatantly lying to you guys. I apologize for that. <laughs> it was not my intent. Into the... I still don't know a name for this. Into the teleporter. I don't want to keep using that because it sounds a little bland. Okay, this is definitely down in Lost River territory. I mean, that much is just abundantly clear. Which part of the Lost River... Interesting that those, uh, gee. game is having some difficulty loading the terrain. As long as I don't end up like Jerry and fall through the floor. Alright. Where am I? This is behind a waterfall in a cave. Duly noted. Wonder, like, how far away am I from my other base? Actually, not that far. Only about 700 meters. Uh, with the assistance of the sea glide, I could probably swim that. With my 225 oxygen. Um, I don't know. It'd, it'd be hairy. I, I'd either just make it, or I would die with, like, 100 meters to go. Alrighty, back into the goop. decided to go with goop, because it's kind of a goopy noise, like, I don't know, jumping into a pile of pudding. And since it's green, I imagine it would be a uh, pistachio pudding. Any pistachio pudding fans out there? I wouldn't eat it when I was young. It was green and looked, um... Looked and had a similar consistency when I would mess with it with a spoon to uh, just a big old pile of snot. And I don't know, maybe maybe all of the uh, pistachio gravy pudding, I, I don't know what you want to call it, was uh, just not made necessarily correctly that I came into contact with. But, like I said, it, it always looked horrible and gross, and I didn't mess with it. Now that I'm grown and have a, a stronger stomach about those kinds of things, I actually enjoy it. It's kind of sweet, kind of tasty. Okay, cave crawlers. So, bone sharks and cave crawlers. This looks like the crags. And I'm not going to hang out very long because of the bone sharks. Yeah, see, you were coming. You were coming. Yeah, I see ya. I see ya. Yeah, you think you're so clever. Think you're so smart. But you got to get up pretty early to pull one over on Papa. Alrighty. Well, now I know where all these dump out. A um, couple of them kind of close to the base. I would use that bottom... What did I say? The bottom left one puts us out at the mushrooms. Mushroom forest. 
That's one I would use if I if I just wanted to teleport back to the main base. Kind of abandon all my stuff here. Uh, but for right now, I didn't mean to pull you out. For right now, let's grab Jerry and start heading back for our regular base. I probably just bring Jerry with me. Can Jerry go through portals? I never tried to bring Jerry through a portal. Yes, boom, 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 big lights, lots of noise, big echo. Lovely acoustics in here. Entirely unnecessary. Alrighty, and how do we make another blue tablet? I'm sure that there is a blueprint somewhere for tablets. Where are my tablet blueprints? Did I pass it? Was I going too far and not paying enough attention? As is something that I commonly do. There we go, blue tablet, ion cube, and kyanite. Oh, cool. So we have everything we need. We just got to get back Welcome to base. Aboard, and I have to do it before I uh, starve to death and or die of dehydration. So, you know, no rush. No great hurry. I think I'm going the right way out of here. Guy is just covered in Kara view. Bumps, Kara bumps. Calorie intake recommended. Yes, thank you. I'm working on that as we speak. Once I get out of an area with uh, warpers just swarming the place, I probably hop out and grab a boomerang or two to deal with that. This is the right way. Yeah, there we go. Really feel like there should be more than one hole in and out of here. Uh-oh. Okay. It ended up being okay. Ended up being something that I did not need to worry about quite so much. Alrighty. And home is that way. I think I want to come up on that side because I think it's... Yep, here it comes. Here comes the worry. Gotta love the jump jet upgrade. Take you right to the top. Alrighty. We're gonna have to do a little bit of swift maneuvering through here. Just going in a hustle. Right now, my exit should be coming up. Uh oh. I missed. Uh oh. Uh, let's cut back this way. Forward, Jerry. Forward. Did I make that? Oh, that's the only thing this needs. Like, the grapple arm needs, like, a range extender. Like, a, a long shot version of the grapple arm. That would be fantastic. Are so good. Just gotta make it back to Franklin. Franklin is where the goodies live. Should be right up ahead. Basically out of the lava zone into the null lava zone. Oh, it's a warper. Oh, don't get in my way. Come on, man. We've been getting along so nicely lately. I've been leaving you alone, you guys are mostly leaving me alone. It's been a swell relationship, really. Let's not change a thing. Alright, I'm 
gonna go out on a limb and say that I'm gonna be okay. I'm up away from where the warpers live. Make it, make it, make it, make it! Yay! Zoom! Ah, oh, crap. Is this where it's gonna be silly? Yep, this is where it's gonna be silly. Alright, gotta give it just a minute. Let those jump jets grow back. Come on, jump jets, grow back! Okay, come out a little, go in a little, here we go. Let's make it, make it, make it, make it, make it! Oh yeah! Sweet! Immediately. Yep, working on it. Ah, get inside of Franklin. Welcome up, Captain. Thank you, it's good to be aboard. I need lantern fruits. Give me lantern fruits. And nom 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 nom. Vital signs. Couple more lantern fruits. Thank you very much. And now let's go hit this lantern tree. Basically have to have two trees just to cover the water content. It's interesting. Um, and why not? Some Chinese potatoes as well. Go ahead and plant one of you, and we will eat the rest. Alright, it's not quite full, but it's close. I can't get into his storage now, can I? Well, that's fine. Um, the kyanite that I need is in the base anyways. And the ion cubes are still in Franklin. Alright, so we'll hop back into Franklin here in a minute. And we'll make our blue tablet right there inside of Franklin. I believe I needed two of those, right? Yes, and a single ion cube. So, let's go back to where it all began. Coming to get you, Jerry! Thank you, Frank. If you come in here, you can just see. Like, this is where it stores your whatever you've put in here. A Seamoth or a Franklin. A Lucy or a Franklin. Alright, let's hop into Frankie. And hit the dirt. And open storage. So let's go ahead and grab all of these out, because they don't need to stay in you. Back inside. Now, back inside. What? 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 Back inside. Thank you. Jeez. Oh, I can do the upgrades from here. Oh, and I could open the storage from here. I didn't know that. Huh. Okay. Never had to mess with that before. Equipment, blue tap. Alrighty. And I know I said last episode that I wanted to meet the Sea Emperor right off the bat for this episode. But things have really not progressed in that manner, have they? Kara everywhere. So it looks like I'll have just enough time this episode to get us back to the Sea Emperor's lair. Or containment facility, I guess it is. Uh, assuming the warpers are going to be nice and leave me alone. Which, like I said earlier, come on warpers, we've been doing so well together. Let's not ruin it now. Please and thank you. Should have guessed that I'd need another booster away from me. Should have guessed that I would need another blue tablet. This game's always throwing you curveballs like that. There's always got to be one more thing to go and do. I mean, it makes sense, though. I mean, the game, I don't know, wouldn't be very fun, wouldn't be very exciting if it was more linear. And it is, at its core, a survival game. Those always have lots of fun fetch quests. Oh, 
the jump jets recharge faster when you're not flying through the air. That makes sense, actually. That it does indeed make a lot of sense. Alright, and this should be the hole that I need, so we shall droop. Shoot the gap in between these losers. And I believe I went straight across, pretty much, so avoid the lava! Avoid it! Alright. Let's get a Spider-Man. Spider-Man, going the wrong way. Spider-Man, don't go in the lava. Now with the sea dragon gun, I got no reason to take the floor. What is gurgling? Anyone have any ideas? Please leave your ideas in the comments below. And crash. Alrighty. And this time, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and walk the old Jer Bear right up into this place. Okay, jump jets don't work worth a darn when you're not underwater. If I can harvest that now that I'm in Jerry. Come here. I want you. Give it up. Oh, I totally can. Cool. At least I think I can. Oh, I totally can. Is this just an infinite growth of Ion Cube then? Like, if I go away for a while and come back, will this have grown back? Since it's, you know, an Ion Cube generator and all? I assume that's what that means. Does this work? Uh, not quick enough, really. Alright, well, that's okay. Uh, in the next episode, we will finally be able to make it to the Sea Emperor. I'm sorry that I didn't get to do it this episode. I should have guessed about the second blue tablet, but I didn't, so my bad. I mean, we got to do some cool things, see some cool things. Anyways, got to see all this lovely equipment and explore this base. There you go, Jerry. Have a seat. Have a seat and watch this for us. Give us a holler when it's done. Okay? Alrighty. I love you, Jerry Bear. Alright, and next episode I'm gonna go ahead and insert the tablet now. That way we can say we did something. Get all of our tablet use out of the way. And then next episode we are going down there and seeing what everything is all about. So, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you enjoy these episodes. And uh, next episode, we finally meet the Sea Emperor. Hopefully. My luck, there's like six more tablet doors back that way. But I don't remember them being there. So, I know that's not necessarily comforting, since I've forgotten a whole bunch of stuff otherwise. But anyways, this is Papa Grimgrin, signing out. Bye-bye!